Hello and welcome to a very quick Christmassy Bob's vlog. Struggled to sometimes say that clearly, but I'm glad I did on this occasion. We've got a lovely Christmas tree. We are in beautiful Northwood House where I have my office. So I just want to wish everyone a very happy Christmas um, and just reflect over some of the stuff that we've done this year. It's been a busy year. It's been a bit up and down in Parliament. We've had a couple of leaders, and we're up to about three and a few chancellors. We've now got stability again. Thank you very much indeed to Rishi Sunak, and I'm sure Rishi will lead us into the next general election. On the island, we've had some great wins. We are rebuilding Ride Railway Pier, and that's going to be finished come the spring. Uh, we've had the work starting on St Mary's Hospital, um, and that again will be finished in the next few months. We've also had the promise of a £10 million diagnostic centre, and most recently we've had a fabulous victory over planning, which allows us to plead exceptional circumstances in the future, but also importantly, critically, ensures that we can protect our green fields building on our brownfields and in uh, towns and villages that are already there, uh, but also making sure that we build affordable housing for young people, so it's a big win. Overall, in the last five years, we've had over £120 million of additional investment in the island to give us better life chances, better job opportunities for islanders, and that's fundamentally what my job in Parliament is about. It's about getting better, better stuff, a better deal for the island, and better life chances for islanders. So I'm proud of what we've done, working with the council, working with lots of different groups on the Isle of Wight. And you know, with your blessing, I would love to continue that and do more of that in the years to come. But uh, certainly next year, that's what I'm going to be focused on, continuing to deliver a better deal for the Isle of Wight and making sure that our voice is heard in Westminster and in Parliament. So thank you very much indeed. Have a great Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you all in January. Thank you.